Hey everyone, Kevin Tanner coming to you with a review here today. We're going to be taking a look at the Micro Galaxy Squadron Series 3 Blind Box, the uh, patrol trooper on his speeder. So we're going to talk about the figure, the vehicle, the stand, we'll do some measurements. Um, if at all during this video you do enjoy the content that I create or any of the other videos that I've created, if you could please like and subscribe to the page, it would be great. Also, in the description, you'll see a link to a uh, Facebook page that I run with some friends from all over the world. It's a fantastic community of other collectors that really enjoy Micro Galaxy Squadron, Action Fleet, Micro Machines, and Micro Collection. Let's go ahead and dive into the review. So here is the Series 3 Scout Class, the Patrol Trooper with uh, his speeder. So we're going to take a look at the figure at the vehicle, we'll take a look at the stand, and then we'll do some measurements. Before we dive too deep into that, I do want to take a look at the packaging. So you can see here is the PDQ in the background, so we've got all of the common vehicles here on the bottom, as well as some really nice box art here on the side, um, on each side. And then on the back here, it just says Star Wars Micro Galaxy Squadron. Now on the individual box itself, so here is what it looks like. You can see on the front here, again, very nice box art here. On the side, it does show all of the different vehicles in this class. So you get all of the common vehicles as well as the chase and then the two rares, the one in 5,000 and the one in 15,000. Here is the UPC if you want it, but the UPC, to be perfectly honest, doesn't really matter from one ship to the next um, because they're all blind boxes, so they're all gonna follow the same one. And then there's a little box right there on the side. So uh, let's go ahead and start first with the stand. So this is your common uh, stand that they have that has the two pegs on it. You've got the one peg here that would be vertical like I had it set on there. You could also then um, insert this onto this side peg to be able to fly it around uh, as you're playing with it. Now, from a uh, figure perspective, starting out with this patrol trooper, I mean, it looks really, really good. So, um, especially at this scale for it being so small, the difference in the amount of black that we get on him is really nice. So you can see the pants are black. You got the inside of the arms are black. There's a lot of black on the mask or on the helmet, as well as on the back of the head. You got a little bit of black there on the back. I mean, again, just the detailing on it is really nice. Even on the boots is really nice. And so um, I wanted to do just a quick comparison of this relative to the Stormtrooper that we got in Series 1 with the Imperial Troop Transport. So, I mean, you can see a massive difference in the quality between the two. You know, with the Stormtrooper, it really just looks like he's got sunglasses on um, and just a little paint on the hands. The quality of the detail on the Stormtrooper is still nice, but you can't really tell because it's not painted. And so with this guy, you can see, again, lots of great detail. And then here is the Stormtrooper on the E-Web that comes in Series 3 as well. And again, you can see just the paint quality, the detailing that they have on this specific figure is, uh, is really nice. Now, this guy here from a measurement perspective, he clocks in right at one inch, just like all of the other figures. So that is that. So now let's go ahead and take a look at his, uh, his speeder bike here. So this is one of the really unique speeder bikes when I saw this in Solo, I was like, it kind of looks like just he's sitting on a box, like a giant rectangle, uh, but I kind of like it. So uh, it was really cool to see that we were getting this in this uh, class. So the details on this are really, really nice. Um, for it being just a rectangle, all of the paneling that they have on there, all of the little machinery that you can see inside of it, underneath has a ton of detail. I mean, you very rarely are gonna see the underneath of it. And the fact that it has that much detail is really nice. It's got the little peg hole there that you can see. Um, here is the other side of it, and then here is the front. Again, lots of great detail in there, lots of great detail on the back. Now, this is one solid piece, so it is kind of like a softish rubber, so you can kind of see that I'm moving it around, or plastic, whatever you want to call it. So, uh, the same thing with most of these other Scout class ships, but uh, it is really nice. So, um, and it's all filled as well. It's not hollow, so it's 
relatively hefty um, when you're holding in your hand. So from a measurement perspective, this guy is almost two and a half inches um, from front to back. It's kind of tricky because the front and the back is angled slightly. So there we go. It's going to be like just over six centimeters, 6.2 centimeters. And then from height perspective, it's about uh, two centimeters from the bottom to the top. Uh, maybe just a smidge more if you put in that little piece right there. So uh, overall, I think this is a great ship. I'm really excited to have this uh, and really excited to see the expansion into the Solo universe to be able to pull in some of those vehicles. So if you like the review, if you could, please go ahead and like and subscribe to the page. Again, also check out the description where I've got a link to the Facebook page that I run uh, with some friends. And uh, thanks for watching.